However, this is um, a difficult situation for the family to be in, and we do work hand in hand with these families because we co-parent. We co-parent. I've shown you that clip countless times over the last year. Now, I don't do it because I want to make that educrat famous. In fact, I can't even remember his name, and I don't know how many times I've seen it. I've, I've shown this clip time and again to remind you that this is a worldview that's part of our educational establishment. On that note, I'm working on some material on curriculum that will blow your mind, and we'll have that for you in the coming days. But this idea that parents are only co-parents because the educrats are co-parents, well, that was not a single guy misspeaking last year. This weekend, I was shocked when a friend forward, forwarded me a video on how our kids belong. They don't belong to parents. They belong to the community. These were not some off-the-cuff remarks. They were planned carefully because they were part of an ad campaign for the left-wing American news channel, MSNBC. We have never invested as much in public education as we should have because we've always had kind of a private notion of children. Your kid is yours and totally your responsibility. We haven't had a very collective notion of these are our children. So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. Once it's everybody's responsibility and not just the households, then we start making better investments. Lean forward indeed. It's easy to snatch your kids from you if you lean forward. Well, are progressives taking the idea that it takes a village to raise a child to an extreme as they now claim collective ownership of children? Andrea Morozik is executive director of the Institute for Marriage and Family Canada. She joins me now. Andrea, uh, I was blown away the first time I saw this, and I watched this stuff. What was your reaction when you first saw it? Two reactions. I don't think she even believes what she is saying, because I can guarantee you that if there were a Brian Lilly summer camp, suddenly her child would be her child, because she would not want her child to be indoctrinated by you. That's the difference in the worldviews, which you just brought up, rightly so. She's coming from a, a drastically different worldview. She spoke of the collective. She spoke of um, the private notion of children. Um, I suppose all I can say is that the Institute of Marriage and Family Canada is the antithesis of this idea that she puts forward on MSNBC. Parents first, parents matter, parents raise their children. It takes a family to raise a village. Explain this is, that. It, this is the opposite of the Clinton notion. Hillary Clinton popularized the idea that it takes a village to raise a child. Fine, there's some ideas I might be able to get behind in there around community being important, etc. But in reality, we only have strong communities when we have strong families. So we start with the parents, we start with the strong building block of marriage, parents together raising their kids, um, and, and that is what it takes to create a strong culture, economy, country. Uh, so she's got it backwards. I don't even think she believes what she's saying in that particular ad. Well, I'll bet that in her mind she does, but I'll bet that she lives her way, her life in a different way. I bet that she lives in... Uh, one of the, the leafier neighborhoods in town where all the parents are very involved in the local school and things like that. Research shows time and again that parents or kids raised by their own parents in a stable home where the parents are involved with their kids' education, that leads to more successful outcomes. Right. So it's parental involvement in the kids' education that helps, not saying, all right, well... You know, I'm tired. Go see June at the community center. She can feed you dinner tonight and help you with your homework. That doesn't work. Yeah, if I could bring up another topic we've discussed before, it's the one of universal child care. Universal child care does not help children thrive. The only studies we have showing that early intervention works are ones where there was actually targeted intervention that involved the parents as well as the children together. So when you work together with parents, uh, in impoverished neighborhoods, for example, or in where people really, really do need support. And we want to help the people who really need it. We just don't want to have this collective notion of childhood that uh, we are all part of some collective that everyone should. But that, what you describe is going in and helping the family as well. It's not just drop off your kids at, uh, exactly, at, that's at, it. at the government system and let them. I mean, that's the holding pen now. It was, you, you said it, helping the parents as well as the kids in a targeted 
way. Because you can only imagine when you look at the collective, if you amass all the children and put them in one place, they still go home at night. There is absolutely no practicality to what she's suggesting here. I don't, I don't know that she believes again what she said. She probably does leave in, live in a leafy neighborhood where everything is happy-go-lucky. But uh, at the end of the day, if we want to help to have a better culture and, and society, perhaps something that we could find common ground on, even with the likes of Melissa Harris Perry at MSNBC. The starting point is parents and ensuring that parents are, are strong um, arbiters of their own families. Uh, l let me throw this out to you. One, I was blown away by the idea of ownership. I mean, yes, I will say my children, but um, you know, my wife always likes to say, remember, the kids are loaned to you. Uh, look after them well, raise them up properly. But th this idea of ownership and its collective ownership, well, who looks after a public park? Is a public park, is the lawn ever as nice as the guy across the street from the public park who, who really wants his lawn to look nice? Mm. Do you pick up the litter as much in a public park as you do on your own property? I mean, if you're walking by it, sure, but you're not going to go out and, and patrol it looking for the litter bugs. Yeah, and, and she actually is speaking in such stark Marxist terms that children have become widgets in a sense, and children are not owned by anyone, period. They're gifts to their parents, and their parents have the responsibility of nurturing them into responsible adulthood. But at the end of the day, people are people, even little people are their own people, and they don't belong to anyone. But I, I certainly, I wonder, again, if she's aware of the sort of Marxist viewpoint that she's bringing oh, forward. Oh, uh, lean forward, yes. I, I'm sure that she is, and I'm sure that it's part of it. Well, what do you think on this? Share your thoughts. We've got that uh, video posted up at the blog at lilliespad.ca. Uh, we've also got stories like this on RBC and their ongoing PR problem. Let us know what you think of all of it. Leave a note in the comments. Stick around. There's more to come.